Hello students, welcome to my YouTube channel SG Education. Today we will see Class 9 Subject Science, Chapter 6 Classification of Plants, Exercise Solutions. So question 1, match the proper terms from columns A and C with the description in column B. Here in column A, Thalophyta, Bryophyta, Teridophyta, Gymnosperms, and Geosperms. Column B, seeds are formed in fruits. No natural covering on seeds. These plants mainly grow in water. These plants need water for reproduction. Tissues are present for conduction of water and food. Column C, fern, cycas, tamarind, moss, algae. Answer Thalophyta. These plants mainly grow in water. Algae. Second, Bryophyta. These plants need water for reproduction. Moss. Third, Pteridophyta. In this, tissues are present for conduction of water and food. Fern. Fourth, Gymnosperms. No natural covering on seeds. Cicus. Fifth, angiosperms. Seeds are formed in fruits. Tamarind. Question 2. Complete these sentences by filling in the blanks and explain those statements. Angiosperms, gymnosperms, spore, bryophyta, thalophyta, zygote. Question A. Fill in the blank plants have soft and fiber like body. Answer Thalophyta plants have soft and fiber like body. Thalophyta includes algae which have soft and fiber like body. Question B Fill in the blank is called amphibian of the plant kingdom. Answer Bryophyta is called the Amphibian of the plant kingdom. Plants belonging to Bryophyta grow on moist soil but need water for reproduction since they share two habitats such as soil and water. They are called amphibians. Question C. In Pteridophytes, asexual reproduction occurs by fill in the blank formation and sexual reproduction occurs by fill in the blank formation. Answer In pteridophytes, asexual reproduction occurs by spore formation and sexual reproduction occurs by zygote formation. Pteridophyta plants show alternation of generation. One, one generation reproduces by spore formation and the next generation reproduces sexually by zygote formation. Question D. Male and female flowers of fill in the blank are born on different sporophylls of the same plant. Answer. Gymnos. Male and female flowers of gymnosperms are born on different sporophylls of the same plant. Gymnosperms bear their male and female flowers on different sporophylls of the same plant. Question 3. Answer the following questions in your own words. Question A. Write the characteristics of subkingdom phanerogams. Answer. Plants which have special structures for reproduction and produce seeds are called phanerogams. In these plants, after the process of reproduction, Seeds are formed which contain the embryo and stored food. During the germination of the seed, the stored food is used for the initial growth of the embryo. Depending upon whether seeds are enclosed in a fruit or not, phanerogams are classified into gymnosperms and angiosperms. Next, question B. Distinguish between monocots and dicots. Answer. The difference between monocots and dicots are given below. 
आंसर सीड इन डायकॉट्स टू कॉटिलेडन्स मोनोकॉट्स सिंगल कॉटिलेडन रूट डायकॉट्स वेल डेवलप्ड प्राइमरी रूट मोनोकॉट्स फाइबर्स फाइबरस रूट्स स्टेम टू डायकॉट्स स्ट्रॉन्ग हार्ड एग्जाम्पल बनियान ट्री मोनोकॉट्स हॉलो एग्जाम्पल बांबू फॉल्स डिस्क लाइक एग्जाम्पल ऑनियन लिफ डायकॉट्स रेंटिक्युलेट वेनेशन मोनोकॉट्स पैरल वेनेशन फ्लावर डायकॉट्स फ्लावर्स विथ फोर और फाइव पार्ट्स और इन देयर मल्टीपल्स मोनोकॉट्स फ्लावर्स विथ थ्री पार्ट्स और इन मल्टीपल्स ऑफ थ्री नाउ क्वेश्चन सी राइट अ पैराग्राफ इन योर ओन वर्ड्स अबाउट द ऑर्नामेंटल प्लांट्स कॉल्ड फर्न्स आंसर फर्न्स बिलोंग टू द ग्रुप ऑफ प्लांट्स कॉल्ड टेरिडोफाइटा दे हैव वेल डेवलप्ड रूट्स स्टेम एंड लीव्स बट डू नॉट बियर फ्लावर्स एंड फ्रूट्स दे हैव सेपरेट टिश्यूज फॉर द कंडक्शन ऑफ फूड एंड वॉटर they reproduce with the help of spores formed along the back or posterior surface of their leaves they reproduce asexually by spore formation and sexually by zygote formation question d sketch label and describe the spirogyra answer spirogyra belongs to the division thallophyta they are called as algae it grows mainly in water it does not have specific parts like root stem leaves flowers but are autotrophic due to the presence of chlorophyll the plant body of spirogyra is soft and fiber like it has spirally arranged chloroplasts in its cells next question e write the characteristics of the plants belonging to division bryophyta answer bryophyta group of plants are called the amphibians of the plant kingdom because they grow in moist soil but need water for reproduction these plants are thalloid multicellular and autotrophic they reproduce by spore formation their plant body structure is flat ribbon like long without true roots stem and leaves instead they have stem like or leaf like parts and root like rhizoids they do not have specific tissues for the conduction of food and water examples moss athoceros risia etc question 4 sketch and label the figures of the following plants and explain them into brief marchantia funeria fern spirogyra answer funeria and marchantia the figures of this is given below these plants are called amphibians of the plant kingdom because they grow moistly in soil and need water for reproduction they do not have specific tissues for the conduction of food and water the plant body is flat ribbon like long without true roots stem and leaves instead they have stem like or leaf like parts and root like rhizoids next fern pteridophyta the figure is given below they have well developed roots stem and leaves for the conduction of food and water they do not bear flowers and fruits they reproduce with the help of spores 
present along the back or posterior surface of the leaves next spirogyra the figure is given here spirogyra belongs to the division thallophyta they are called as algae it grows mainly in water it does not have specific parts like root stem leaves flowers but are autotrophic due to the presence of chlorophyll the plant body of spirogyra is soft and fiber like it has spirally arranged chloroplast in its cell next question which criteria are used for the classification of plants explain with reasons answer criteria for classification of plants if plants do not bear flowers fruits and seeds they are non seed bearing plants if they bear flowers fruits and seeds they are seed bearing plants presence or absence of conducting tissues plants such as pteridophytes gymnosperms and angiosperms which possess conducting tissues are included in vascular plants whereas thallophytes and bryophytes which do not possess conducting tissues are included under the non vascular plants depending upon whether the seeds are enclosed in fruit or not plants are classified as gymnosperms and angiosperms depending upon the number of cotyledons in seeds plants are classified into dicotyledons and monocotyledons our class 9 subject science chapter 6 classification of plants exercise solutions are completed if you like this video and want to see such videos then please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel sg education thank you